For personal reasons Ireland is one of my touchstones when trying to understand the ways in which the world is changing, and more generally it is an interesting laboratory to witness the effects of the rise and fall of globalization on a small open economy. Globalization has markedly changed Ireland such that the Ireland of the 20th century is drifting steadily out of the collective memories of Irish people. In the middle of the 20th century, the country had few active trade and diplomatic links, something that led the writer Sean F. Allen to remark that Ireland, is behind a green curtain that we have been rigging up for the last 30 years, thought proof, world proof, life proof. That is a remark on a country that was waiting to be reconnected with the world, but it recently came to mind when thinking of China. Also, this week the Women's Tennis Association WTA, have suspended their tennis tournaments in China in response to the disappearance of the player Peng Shui. She had been recalled to China having accused accused Zhang Jiali formerly a high-ranking Chinese Communist Party official, of sexual assault, and she is since believed to been held under duress. As background I have just started reading the fascinating Red Roulette. Desmond Shum's account of what happens to wealthy Chinese who rise too high too quickly, to spoil the surprise Shum details the murder, suicides and disappearance of numerous Chinese billionaires. Couple this with China's antagonizing of nearly all of its neighbors, some of whom also threaten it, other snippets such as a collapse in passport issuance by the Chinese government, notwithstanding COVID, the exigencies of China's COVID policy and a growing range of moves to establish self sista This red curtain process, if my view is correct, will be gradual but nonetheless meaningful. David Skilling points out that trade ties between the EU and China are still strong, and that American banks are keen to further implicate themselves in the Chinese financial system. Jamie Dimon of JPM is notable here, though less so for his diplomacy.